Hi, I'm going to show you how to turn any image you find online into a drawing using Google Drawings. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Google Images and you want to do a search for whatever it is you'd like to draw. You want to make sure you keep it appropriate for school. So then you just are going to scroll down and find the image you like and just click on it one time. That's all you need to do. Okay? Then you're going to make a new tab and you're going to go to drawings.google.com. I'm going to type it in drawings.google.com and hit enter and it's going to take me here to something like this. Now I could title my file. Oops. If you hear that squeaking it's because I have my 3D printer going. Oops. So now I want to get this image onto my Google drawing and it's actually really easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split screen. So I just, so we just minimize it and your computer might have to do it this way too. Computers um, split screen different ways. So I have that one. And now I want to grab this. All right, so I have to minimize this screen as well. So, or this tab, so I'm gonna click on it. And I'm gonna minimize and drag it over, just like that. Okay, perfect. So now what I want to do is I want to click here and I want to drag it over to my flower drawing. So I'm gonna click, drag, and then I'm gonna release. I might have to wait a second. And then my flower image is right there. So I'm, I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to make this screen nice and big, and I'm just going to work on my drawing. So I'm going to take this and drag it as big as it can go and let go. Do you see this? Do you see where this little triangle is? I'm going to choose the curve, and then I can just click. Do you see how it made a little line? It won't do anything until I make another click. And then I just keep going. How cool is that? And it'll keep going until I go all the way back to the beginning. Now it might make it a color, so I could go ahead and say I want this to be white, or I could just say I want it to be transparent. You could say I want the outline to be black. You can change how thick that line is. It's up to you. And then I'm going to keep going. And I'm just going to do the whole flower. Oops. Sometimes that happens, it's not a big deal. I double clicked, so I just connect my lines. Super easy to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace the whole thing and then I'll come back. I have my whole flower drawn. You can see I didn't do every detail, I just kept it pretty simple. I'm gonna click on my arrow button here and I'm gonna click on the original flower picture I brought over and then I'm gonna delete it. Now I can do that by right clicking and going cut I can do it by pushing delete. I also could do it by pushing control X. So I'm gonna say cut. And now that picture is gone and I can go in here and I can change things however I like. I can color this in, I could add a background. And the way you do all that is these are your tools right here. I can scribble. And what I do is I just go and I scribble all I want. And then I can pick all sorts of different colors I might want that to be. Maybe I want it to be pink. Maybe I want it to be really fat. Um, in terms of the lines, there's all sorts of cool things I can do. And it doesn't have to be a flower. You could do a fire truck. You could do an animal. Um, you could do a celebrity, anything you like. The other cool thing is, is if you get permission from your teacher, you can go to File, Print. You can also click right here and you can print this. And then you've made your own coloring sheet. How cool is that? So I hope you check out Google Drawings and you learn more about how to draw anything you like.